Okay, so in this video, I am going to go over subscriptions and one channel. And uh, the benefits of having a subscription is that uh, you can obviously navigate faster because all of the content links are going to be stored within your own computer li uh, library. Um, also, if the one channel or let me watch this websites are down for some reason, you still have access to all your content that you've uh, already subscribed to as far as the last update goes. Um, so, cause, because those are basically stored within your own uh, library in the STRM files. Um, to do this, it's actually not that complicated. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into System, Add-ons, go into Enabled Add-ons, Video Add-ons, and then go ahead and click on one channel and then Configure. And what we've got here is Library Integration and we can enable automatic subscription updates. Uh, change the interval if you'd like. You can change it on how often you'd like the uh, the plugin to go to the one channel website or the let me watch this website and double check for changes for that subscription so you'll be notified when things get uh, added in to your uh, on your uh, subscription uh, subscripted uh, television shows whatever you subscribe to. So the locations for that content, not the content itself as far as the video goes, you're not storing the video, you're actually storing just the links to the video. But if you look here, I've got a TV show folder, which is in app data, roaming, XBMC, the user data, add-on data, and then the plugin, and then a folder for TV shows. And the same goes for movies. You can choose and uh, choose new locations for this by hitting enter. Um, the default location works fine. Uh, there's not really any reason to move it. Uh, just go ahead and hit OK. All right, so now that I've turned on subscriptions, I'm going to go ahead and subscribe to something. So videos, go into your one channel, we'll go into TV shows, and we'll go into, say, highly, highly rated. Once this pulls up, I'm going to bring up the context menu, and this is the same place that you normally add your favorites in through XBMC and one channel, and that is by hitting the C key. All right, so let's just say that uh, Breaking Bad, I want to subscribe to Breaking Bad. I can hit C, and typically what people do is just add it to favorites, only this time I'm going to subscribe. All right, so now that I've added a subscription and I've turned on subscriptions, that go ahead it, it uh, notifies me that I have now subscribed now I can go into video files actually right here and I can go up one level by hitting the two dots there and I can go to video actually files and I can add videos and I'm not really adding videos but I'm adding that location where the uh, um, where that subscription database is located and that's under home folder user data, add-on data, plugin, video, one channel. Now th this is the default location for the subscriptions. And I'm going to do TV shows because I just subscribed to a, v a TV show. Hit enter and then hit OK. TV shows, that's fine. Don't need to rename it. Hit OK. And then I need to pick out a scraper. And a scraper is basically just something that's going to go through your folders and look for content and then go out to a website and grab the, uh, the content information, the, sh the television show description and the episode description actually even. So go ahead and pick out TV shows. Uh, the TVDB is just fine. I haven't had any problems with it. Um, and then the selected folder contains a single TV show. I'm going to uncheck that because I'll probably have more than one TV show I'm going to subscribe to. So I'm just going to leave that unchecked. Under settings, uh, nothing to change in here. You can change the language, but I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Defaults is fine for this. Hit OK. Would I like to refresh? Hit Yes. It's going to clean up my database, and there we go. So now what it's doing is it's scanning TV shows using TVDB, and it is adding in Breaking Bad. And once that is done, if I go back to my home screen, I now have TV shows that has been added to my home screen. Once this is finished, I can probably go in while it's working even, 
I've got my subscriptions here. I've got Breaking Bad, 21 episodes. Here's my seasons. And I want to click on them. When you pick it, it basically just automatically opens up that STRM file that you subscribe to. And uh, essentially, it's just an easier way of using XBMC, and it's a lot faster than navigate around the system. Um, what you'll have to do is go into and uh, transfer all your favorites into subscriptions. But uh, I would definitely suggest doing that rather than using favorites. You're not uh, hitting the one channel website every time you want to uh, pick a show or look for a source because you're not, uh, because all those sources are stored locally. It's just a lot faster. And then you still get all your normal information as far as uh, what. Uh, I got a script fail here because I'm trying to navigate around while it's trying to update. But um, if I was just a little more patient, everything would work fine. <laughs> but that's basically subscriptions. Um, I definitely recommend using them. Thanks.